Hey y'all and welcome back to day 9 of Blacktober. I do believe it's day 9 because I skipped another day, skipped day 8. But of course, y'all not going to judge me on that because um, it's the weekend and I won't even live my best life. I don't even know what I'm about to tell y'all because it was nothing. But yeah, I skipped a day. So... If I may skip a day, definitely don't come for me. That may very well happen. As long as I don't really miss consecutive days, I feel like that's all that matters. So, um, yeah, y'all, welcome back to another vlog, uh, another day in my life. Um, today is Sunday, technically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, today is Sunday. So, it's pretty much a chill day. I kind of like clean every day y'all and as well just like very variety of stuff throughout the week different stuff throughout the week not necessarily a big clean on one day uh so that's why i really haven't been doing much cleaning videos but he hey here's a little something here's a little bit of me just straighten up the kitchen um we're going to be getting groceries um later on so that as well is why i definitely wanted to make sure that um the kitchen was a little bit tidied up uh Besides the fact that the kitchen just needs to be tidied up all in general. And then um, just to get the kids some breakfast going on. Um, we are a family that loves oatmeal. My kids love, 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 love oatmeal. So they will pretty much eat oatmeal every day. But every now and then I like to try to give them some different kind of options. So while my son wanted oatmeal, I'm going to make Journey a waffle. Um... Sometimes, you know, me and this waffle maker be, you know, having a time together. But for the most part, she's my friend here. Um, so, yeah, just sit back, kick back, relax, enjoy uh, some cleaning up here. And as I get breakfast ready for the kids. If you don't know, I've recently moved. Definitely check out some of my moving vlogs. Check out that process. It's a big part of my life and my transition this year. So I definitely want y'all to check that out just to, you know, get to know me and get to know uh, some of my journey. So with that said, um, this floor needs to be mopped so bad, y'all. Um, and I've been in this place a couple months now and we still don't have a mop but nonetheless we're gonna be doing some shopping this week so i'm so excited about that can't wait to take y'all on that journey um i've really just been wanting a swiffer so we're de we definitely gonna aim to get that swiffer uh don't mind my son he's clearly just got up and he's like his mom he likes to be free he likes to be naked he likes to sleep naked as he calls it he has underwear on um but so, yeah, you're going to see him again. He's definitely going to be blocked out, um, which I, you know, completely wasn't even thinking about when I was recording um, at the time. So,
Yeah, see what I'm saying? Love-hate relationship. I might have made this one a little bit too fluffy, though. Because I know I sprayed it. Didn't I spray this, y'all, before I cooked it? I know I sprayed this little makeup first. <laughs> So y'all know exactly what happened here. We have no syrup. So thankfully with Walmart's delivery options, and I think even when you pick it up, uh, you have a lot of amount of time to add stuff to your order. So thankfully, I remember that I forgot to add syrup onto our order. So got real creative. Um, and added Nutella onto her waffles. It's been easier to spread if it was still a whole waffle and not cut up, but nonetheless, I still did my best to try to make that thing work. Even though she was like, eh, Ma, what is this? I don't know if I want that. Like she even knew the difference though. So y'all, other than that, the other thing on my to-do list today was um, to do my recap for Marriage at First Sight. If you don't know, I do have another channel, a uh, YouTube channel for my guilty pleasure because I love TV, reality TV. And so I do reviews, recaps, whatever you want to call them on Marriage at First Sight. So I started watching that as I was waiting for my groceries. Now my groceries will arrive between two and three, y'all. Now it was after two o'clock and as y'all could see, I was still waiting on my order. But nonetheless, it was delivered before three, but to the wrong freaking address. No groceries, okay? Here with you, sister, while I try to go and look for these darn groceries. We'll go. Y'all, this is ridiculous. So now I got to go. Go oh, look what they left. This is torches. It looks like they left it. It looks like exactly. No, this can't be there because of how that jank is set up. Their porch would be right on the other side. So no, that's not there. I got their grocery before theirs. So it's definitely somebody's upstairs somewhere. But where? And I'm definitely going to knock on somebody's door if they have my double grocery. This is the part that I actually, absolutely, absolutely hate about. I think about it. Maybe they put it at the next building. But I'm trying to think about how the, thinking about how the layout is. This might be pointless if they go into this building. I might need to go into the building next to my house. Like, what the? Oh, yeah, when I say I'm so freaking pissed that I got to go out here and look for groceries. Yep. Here are my groceries. And y'all, this should be the perfect time for my sons to have to poop. Yeah, I'm TMI, but he wouldn't have to poop right now. So, and I want to get my groceries out of front of this other person's door. ASAP. And this is like here to there. Here to there. Definitely in my workout for the day. Y'all, I am like a bit I'm a big advocate. I ain't gonna lie. I would tell somebody, anybody really quick to yo, just get your groceries, just get your groceries delivered. Just go order online and get them picked up. But at the same time, 
it can literally be on my last like it's that right there they a couple of things that I do not like though I still consistently will use Walmart and I just draw Walmart plus too because I really like my groceries to be delivered like I said I do not like to grocery shop y'all I'm jammy I had to play some music to get these groceries while I do not like the grocery shop I don't mind putting them away this is what I do enjoy putting them away and yeah getting them all put away and stuff it in the cupboards but I don't like to grocery shop so I will advocate for Walmart delivery all day, but my pet peeves are the substitutions, but sometimes I just have to remember that certain stuff I don't want substitutions for, so I just have to change that option when I'm checking out. Number two, um, they've gotten better. Since COVID, they've gotten better with uh, their not being on time. Uh, so I'm going to just give them that because I know right now they are struggling, especially if you go and pick up your groceries. That's another reason why I don't go and pick up because half the time they'd be behind and I have to wait even longer to get my groceries. So outside of that, that's the other thing. People delivering your groceries. And that's another reason why as well. I just got Walmart Plus for one. So I have to tip people who are, well, They Walmart does give you the option though to go back and change your tip though. So that's actually nicely cool. Even if you're if you're not a Walmart Plus. With Walmart Plus, you get delivered for free and you don't have to tip. If you just do it regularly, then you know there is a fee to deliver and then they, you know, you tip your driver as well. But you do have the option to go back and untip or change the tip for your delivery driver so that is the one plus that i can say about this was thankfully i did not have to tip that person but that's it right there it's people who just do not pay attention or the other part of me just felt like people just do stuff on purpose and purposely deliver my stuff but, but why 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 i don't know why would you do that i don't really know but hey like that's just that but other than that y'all i I enjoy being able to pick up, or excuse me, order my groceries online and have them delivered to my door. So, with that being said, even with my pet peeves, that's something you think that you know you might want to run with. Like I said, even though you don't got to, you don't have to join Walmart Plus. You can still get them picked up for free. You can go pick them up for free if you order online or as well. You can pay, I think it's $7.95 uh, for the delivery. And then plus you would tip your driver.
So yeah, so in the midst of all this going on, I don't know if I had mentioned that I was, while I was waiting for groceries, that I was watching Married at First Sight. Oh yeah, I definitely did. I definitely think I'm repeating myself right now. So yeah, so after I was done putting away the groceries, I got back into Married at First Sight, finished that, recorded my recap, and then of course, over here, I'm just you know editing but typical journey here she comes you know to come and ruin my moment she sees that she thinks that i'm recording because she still sees the camera up and the lights on but but yeah that was my day y'all i'm gonna catch y'all later tomorrow hopefully if not you'll definitely catch me tuesday peace out